be happy with Campos, understand him. You don't have to agree with what what, what he wants. Like I, I don't agree that we should sell Kimpembe or Neymar. What's up PSG and family, today we're discussing Luis Campos. This is more of a chill talk video because I want to address Luis Campos, the football advisor, the sporting director at Paris Saint-Germain. Luis Campos uh, deserves a lot of respect, deserves a lot of recognition for the work he has done in such a short amount of time. Because... There are a lot of PSG fans criticizing Campos, saying, oh, he can't finalize deals, oh, he wants to try, he has chance for listed Neymar, he has chance for listed Kimpembe, and people got mad at him. And I didn't, don't really know why. Because ever since he has joined Paris Saint Germain, it's only positives. It's only positives, baby. If you start off, he was one factor of Kylian Mbappe extending at Paris Saint-Germain. They previously worked at AS Monaco. So, Kylian Mbappe staying at Paris Saint-Germain. I have to thank Luis Campos a little bit for that. Then, if you look at the youngsters, Leonardo handled the youngsters very badly. Travis Simons and Michoud, for example. Whilst uh, Luis Campos has come in, I know it's also with the help of Antero Enrique and, of course, Galtier, but Ayman Kari and uh, Zari Emery, who were both linked away. Zari Emery had interest from Real Madrid as well. Whilst came in, Ayman Kari had interest from Bayern München. But Campos still got them to extend and sign their first professional contract at Paris Saint Germain. Ayman Kari and Emery. Then, if you look at the two latest PSG signings, I know that Vitinha was. A lot of Antero, but I think that Luis Campos also had his influence in that deal. 22 year old Vitinha, going for 40 million, which is his market value, and he will get only get better. Second signing, Hugo Ekitike, 20 years old, will only get better. And we bought him for his market value, which is 28 million. And he somehow negotiated it to be a loan deal. Uh, so we can use more money for the season. So we get again another dub by Luis Campos. What Luis Campos has done ever since he has arrived at PSG is fixing what Leonardo did wrong and what Leonardo didn't fix. So he came in, he has created this undesirable list of players that should leave PSG. Leonardo didn't do this. Leonardo wasn't hard with these bums that are staying at PSG. And having a long contract. He didn't do that. But Luis Campos did that. Luis Campos has created a new group called Elite. Which will help promote youngsters from the academy into the first team. Leonardo would never have done this. Luis Campos. Yes, transfer listed both Neymar Jr. and Kimpembe according to reports. But is it smart? Is it bad? You have to remove your feelings and think logically. For me, Neymar, I'm still Neymar in. I've always been Neymar in. He's my most enjoyable player at Paris Saint-Germain with the tricks and flicks he does. But I still can understand Luis Campos, why he would want to sell Neymar. Because Neymar Jr. is a player that hasn't met expectations at Paris Saint-Germain. And same with Presnel Kimpembe. These are players that have been here for a long time, but still have an uncertain future. And you don't want to have th those kind of players at your club. If a player has been here for a long time, you know that this is a player you want to keep. Or is it time to sell this player? Both Neymar and Kimpembe was always a question mark. So for me, what I think that Luis Campos did, he knew that it was going to be extremely hard to sell both. But he transfer listed them. He wanted to see what other teams would bid, how Neymar's response and Kimpembe's response. And then he had a meeting with them. Neymar right now. Looks to be staying. Kimpembe right now a bit unsure, but I'm telling you, he's staying. I also want Kimpembe to stay. But we have to understand and we have to respect and we have to be behind Luis Campos because he's our sporting advisor, he's our sporting director. We gave him this role. 
The club gave him this role and now he has the power. We just have to be, we just have to accept that and wish he does the best for Paris Saint-Germain and the future of PSG. Because what he has already done is for the future. Even the, the links with Skamaka, with uh, Turam, with Renato, these are young players that want to come to PSG. Before, when Leonardo wanted the player and the player was a bit unsure, he just added his wages. Whilst Luis Campos has made players want to join PSG, Iquitique wanted to join PSG, Skamaka wants to join PSG, Skriniar wants to join PSG, Vitinha wants to join PSG, Turam wants to join PSG. It's a totally different plan. It's a totally different transfer strategy. And it has worked out really well so far. I mean, the transfer window hasn't done, ended yet, so we can't um, rate Luis Campos' transfer window yet. Who knows? Maybe he will make three signings in the final day. We just have to wait. But until now, he has made an amazing job of fixing the squad, of removing the garbage, adding what was needed, a midfielder, a striker, a centre-back. So what Campos has done, he has come in, he has seen the mistakes of Paris Saint-Germain, and he has fixed them. Now, what I want you from Paris Saint-Germain fans to do is be happy with Campos, understand him. You don't have to agree with what, what, what he wants. Like, I, I don't agree that we should sell Kim Pembro or Neymar, but I respect him because he's our sporting director. That's it. Comment down below, what's your thoughts about Luis Campos? Do you think that uh, the amount of critique towards him is unnecessary? And uh, are you happy with it? Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the best PSG channel in the world. And as usual, allez, 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 bye. Saint-Germain, supporters, levez tous vos mains, tous unis dans le parc des princes pour supporter Paris Saint-Germain. La classe de Thiago Silva, l'expérience de Thiago Mota, on a tous été stupéfaits par les nouveaux repas de Libra et chantons.